Okay. So you're just going to introduce me. Yeah. Welcome back to More Asian Kitchen. This is our second week of our live stream cooking show. This week we're going to be cooking the adobo fried rice. And I have Dana here with us to host and help us throughout the cooking show. Hey everybody, I am Dana Michelle from Dana Being Dana, a radio and television show on Naperville Community Television and Intellectual Radio. I am so excited to be here. You know why? Because this fried rice is one of my favorite dishes at Mora Asian Kitchen. So if you've got your kit, you can join with us. We are super excited to have you joining with us. If you want to join us later, you can purchase your kit and we'll tell you more about how you can get your kit later on. But tune in, please share the show because we are super excited about this cooking lesson. And I, I love it. The food is delicious. It's gonna be so much fun. Chef, Chef Net. Chef Net. Chef Net <laughs> is gonna be on the ones and twos when it comes to getting this food dish prepared and ready. So I am super excited. So thank you all so much for joining us. I hope everybody is being safe. I hope everybody's washing their hands and doing everything that they can to flatten the curve. That's what Mora Asian Kitchen is all about. I am so excited about what Mora Asian Kitchen is doing because not only are they my friends, but they are also so involved and invested in the community. Not only with this cooking show, but with the meals that they provide, we'll talk a little bit more about Mora Meals and all the stuff that they are doing, but it is incredible. We wanna give a special shout out to UIC uh, and, and the meals that they've donated. They've picked up kits, they've sponsored kits. If you want to sponsor kits, we'll tell you more about how you can do that later on in this episode. But they are sponsoring kits for other people to tag, to tag along with us, to share the show, to join in with us on this cooking lesson. What I love about it, the beauty of it is, you don't have to cook it now, you can just watch Chef Net get busy, handle it, make it happen, and you can tune in later and cook one of the best meals that you can for your family during this time. So it's a great episode for you to check out and watch. Please share. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. Please like us on Facebook and Instagram, Mora Asian Kitchen. Uh, follow along with us uh, and uh, share with your friends. If you start a watch party... Uh, we've got a contest. We've got two contests, actually, which is awesome. We've got two lucky winners who will, who will join us um, randomly selected. If you host a watch party now, hosting a watch party is on Facebook. There's a little icon, host the watch party. Uh, randomly selected watch party hosts. Uh, you have to be a live participant right now to, to, to do that. But if you do that, you can be one of our lucky winners. And it, it involves more food for Mora, more free food for Mora, which is an awesome, awesome time. So please share. Please host a watch party. And then the other contest that we're hosting and that we are sharing is the best plated photo. So if you're joining us, if you're cooking with us, if you're cooking in, if you've ordered a kit, if you want to order a kit after this because you're like, man this food looks amazing i want to join in right order your kit order your kit now order your kit right after this show because you have up until tuesday to make your dish and then take a picture of it and share it on facebook those who post pictures of their finished plate get the and they get the most likes by tuesday at 10 a.m will win a special prize from more asian kitchen so order your kit Join us, you won't want to miss out because you want to get more rice, more rice, more rice. So please join us and share in. So we're going to turn it over right now to Chef Garnett. Well, welcome back. So for those who purchased the kit, just sit back tight. We're going to go just go through the simplest procedures, how to braise pork belly, get everything up to ready. So come on in. So today we're going to be using pork belly and usually I'm using about like about like five pounds of pork belly. So for those out there, you guys can use different ingredients as far as uh, chicken, tofu, even a veggie fried rice. You guys don't have to actually use the pork belly. So in most case scenarios, they are gonna be selling the pork belly with the skin. So I re recommend that you sharpen your knives and we're gonna remove the skin. You guys can also buy it skinless, but for here right now we have the one that has a skin on it so you just want to be gentle and just to remove the top of the skin you don't want that when once you're braising the pork belly so to give you a little background about the double fried rice it's actually a fusion dish it's two filipino dishes uh, combined 
garlic fried rice as being one of them and adobo as being the second. So adobo is basically a vinegar based dish. And honestly, there's different many ways so you can cook adobo to your own palate. Some people like it sweet. Some people like it very um, savory. They like it sweet. They like yeah. it savory. <laughs> so adobo, is, there's different many ways to incorporate a good adobo dish. But I'm going to show you how I like how I like my adobo dish cooked. So once you remove the skin on the pork belly, so we're going to begin the braising process of the pork belly. We posted the original recipe on our Facebook page. That was written a couple years ago. So what you want to do before you start your braising process, you want to get a pan pot ready that you guys can put into the oven. Just add about two, three teaspoons of oil. Does the oil matter? Is it specific? Uh, no, we use canola oil, but you guys can also use healthier options as far as uh, uh, veggie any oil, oil any works. oil, olive any oil, oil. that you prefer. Okay. So once you get that heated up, we're going to come back to our pork belly. So what you want to do before the braising process, you want to add salt and pepper. To so we're adding the pepper onto each side. We're going to turn it over and then we're going to add the salt. All right, so you want to bring it over to our searing pan. And a braising method, you want to braise your pork belly where you seared it because all of the flavor and everything gets stuck to the bottom. So once it's cooking in the oven, it gives all that flavor out to the sauces that we're going to be making the marinade. What does braising mean? Braising Bra is a, uh, so braising is basically like we have a marinade prepared for the dish and then we're using a pot to get all the juices out of the meat. And once we put it in the oven, the sauce will incorporate all the juices it has inside the pork belly. And if you don't eat pork, are there substitutions that you could do for your protein? Yeah, you can also substitute it with chicken, uh, fish, you can fry fish, put it tofu. Um, for those that really, if you guys can't braise the pork belly itself or tofu, I recommend just using soy sauce and add a little bit of sugar and salt and pepper on top. And then it's basically our own fried rice. Really? Yep. And can we call Mora and order a kit if we want alternatives? Like yeah, if we want of course. Tofu, yeah, if we, we can also alternative uh, many dishes here. Many people have ordered uh, veggie pancit noodles, a veggie fried rice. So we can do a lot of things here. More. This is one of my favorite dishes at More Asian Kitchen, and you will see why if you order the kit. And if you don't want to order the kit, you can order the food um, and, and get it carry out because it is delicious. So let's braise some. Let's braise the meat. All right. Let's do it. So once your pot is ready, so you want to sear all ends of the pork belly. All right. Just want to add that. That smells there. delicious. It is going to get a little smoky. That's all right. We're not afraid of a little smoke. Yeah. So, yeah, the technique is basically getting all the flavors of the pork belly onto the bottom of the pan. Then once we're braising it in the oven, the pork belly will actually release its own flavor and incorporate it inside the marinade. So you get all the flavors throughout the whole dish. Yeah, so you, you basically just want to sear each side. It's just basically just to get a color and get the flavor onto the pan. It smells great. Same thing with chicken. If you guys are doing it with chicken and with leg quarters, you guys can sear it on both ends. Tofu, you guys can also buy fried cutlet tofu already. But if you guys want, you guys can fry your own tofu and then incorporate in dishes there. So we're gonna flip it over on the other end. Next to all the searing is my, my drink for the day. Tandui Rum is a sponsor. Tandui. Tandui is a sponsor of the episode, and it's the number one selling rum in the world. They are a sponsor of the NBA. Um, Mora always treats me very well with, it, this is a great drink. It's fantastic. Um, and it's just delicious. So, Tandui, check them out.
it's delicious and it pairs very well with the fried rice. So you have that going, you get that going. It's fantastic. And it blends so well with the meat. It smells so delicious. It's so delicious. All right, so once you sear it off all four ends of the pork belly, you guys can turn off your heat and just let it sit there for a while. For, so we're gonna be making the marinade over here. So basically, like I said earlier, the adobo is, you guys can cook to your palate. I'm cooking how I would want my adobo uh, pork belly. We did post the original recipe on our Facebook page. But if you guys just wanna follow along in my steps, so basically we have two cups of soy sauce, two cups of vinegar, about a cup of brown sugar, and then four cups of chicken stock. Oh, last ingredient is uh, the bay leaves. So in that, in that, pan that we sear the pork belly in, you want to add all of the ingredients that I just mentioned to you guys with the soy sauce, the vinegar, so you want to add it into our pot, and we're going to add the vinegar, next we're going to add the chicken stock. And we're going to add our brown sugar. Okay, just mix it, mix it around. It smells great. So if you're cooking along with us, I hope it smells great in your kitchen as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention the most, one of the most important pieces of the, is garlic. So I like a lot of garlic in my adobo fried rice. It gives it a lot garlic. of flavor. So preferably, I put a lot of garlic. I love garlic. So That's a lot of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Garlic is good. You need garlic in your life. Garlic wards off then all kinds of illnesses and ailments. Then we're going to add the bay leaves on top. Then you have your marinade for braising. So usually I want to recommend is putting your oven on 350. Now for 10 pounds of pork belly, five, five to 10 pounds of pork belly, it is gonna cook for about like an hour and a half to two hours braising. So once you guys are doing that, you guys can cook your rice, so get it cooled down before. So it usually takes a day before you actually start cooking the dish. But once you guys have everything prepped, you guys can, um, uh, it'll, it'll be really easy to cook the dish. So we're just gonna put this in the oven. It looks and smells fantastic. If you like garlic, I suggest you put more in your life and in your rice because it is fantastic. It's great. All right. So this is one of the... Just throw that in there. All right. So next what we're going to do is we basically have most of the prep done. All we're missing is the scallions. Okay. So for you, I just would... Um, I'm going to show Dana how to cut the green onions first. You want to cut off the bottom of the green scallions. Make sure you guys are being precaution using a sharp knife, okay? So you guys want to use your knuckles, so you leave it as a guide so you guys don't cut yourself. It's I'm watching you, so Chef Garnett. We're, we're only using the scallions and whites for the dish. So what you want to do, you just want to get those ends off. If you guys would like a little bit more, you guys can add more to it. I love the there scallions. So Let me try. I think it's your turn to do it. Let me try. You can cut the onions because I think they add such an incredible flavor to your meal, which is great. If you love onions, it's a great garnish. 
It's great to implement in your dish. Sharp knives really help. I don't have Remember, just to use your knuckles so you have it as a guide. Just my knuckles, so it's like yeah. that? Yes, you're using your knuckle as a guide and you're putting it on the, you the steel knife. I got it. Wow. I, so I'm learning things in this. That's great. Good. All right. You can do it too. Trust me. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, so then we're going to get started on with the kit. So for those of you that pre-ordered, got the kit, you guys got something similar to this. What's in this kit? Can we open it up? Yeah, of course. So the kit has everything that's in there. We have our rice, garlic, green onions, the pork belly, the double sauce, and the egg that comes with the whole adobo fried rice. And the onions are already cut. By me. You're welcome. Just kidding. So that's what the kit looks like. And if you order your kit, it'll come with all of these things in it already. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So let's get to let's cooking. Go, let's get going. Let's get to cooking. Okay. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. And we'll be right back and we'll show you how you put this kit in motion how you get it going. So thank you to our sponsors, Tandui, Tandui, sorry, Tandui. Uh, and we'll, we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. So we're headed to St. Joseph Hospital in Joliet. We are delivering 120 meals to the intensive care unit, emergency room and radiology units. It's been a pretty rough morning. We got up around like 5 a.m. In total meals we've made today is 150, which is 120 is going to the St. Joseph. Medical Center here in Joliet. My name is Therese Murphy. I am the manager of the emergency department and we want to give a wholehearted thank you to Mora for all of the food that they have donated. Here we go. <laughs> for, from our generous donors, Richard Arnold, Wetronics, and Mora Asian Kitchen for Mora Meals. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Welcome back to our cooking lesson at Mora Asian Kitchen in Bolingbrook. One thing I want to point out to you before we get to cooking this incredible meal is how Mora Asian Kitchen is responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. They have served over 10 hospitals with 700 Mora meals. What is Mora meals? It's their initiative to feeding the front lines. This is why I'm here today. This is why I'm asking you to share the show. This is why I am asking you to purchase kits, donate. You can donate meals. You can support more Asian Kitchen in their quest to support frontline workers. 
feeding the front line is what Mora Asian Kitchen is all about. So the tasty meals that you see, the tasty meals that you have enjoyed are the ones that we want to directly serve to the frontline workers with, with Mora meals. Um, they're incredible, they're fantastic, and you can donate um, on our Facebook page. Go to Mora Asian Kitchen Bolingbrook, and you can also go to the website, moraasiankitchen.com, M-O-R-A, asiankitchen.com. Um, in addition to, to feeding the front lines, More Asian Kitchen is also running a promotion for Mother's Day um, in supporting single moms. So if there's single moms out there that you know, again, please reach out via More Asian Kitchen Bolingbrook uh, and moraasiankitchen.com online on the website to donate meals to support Single mothers that are out there, um, people that you would like to surprise with a, with a fantastic meal to be delivered via More Asian Kitchen. Um, they're doing incredible things. I'm very proud of the work that they're doing. They're friends of mine, um, but their food is also incredibly tasty. So moreasiankitchen.com for more information, uh, both with more meals and with their Mother's Day special. So shouts out to all the mothers out there. All mothers, but especially single mothers out there holding it down, particularly during this pandemic. Are you homeschooling? Because I am. And I know how, exactly how that is. You could use a meal or two. Um, I want to just give a shout out once again to our sponsor, um, Tandwai. The number one selling rum in the world. Founded in 1854 in the Philippines. They are a sponsor of the NBA. National Basketball Association, which is incredible, and we appreciate them for partnering with us today and with Mora Asian Kitchen. Again, our contest to remind you all of the ways that you can get yourself more Mora meals for you and those that you love. The first contest is for our best plated photo. Uh, if, you, if you take a picture of the food that you're making, whether you do it now because you already have a kit or you purchase a kit, and make your food between now and Tuesday, you can post a picture on social media. And the, pe then the person who gets the most likes of their plated picture before Tuesday will win a prize. And also the second contest, if you're hosting a watch party, you can do it right now. Host a watch party right now. Hit that watch party button. Say, hey, watch me, watch us. It's gonna be great. Host a watch party right now. And r a randomly selected watch party host will also win a prize with more Asian Kitchen. So great prizes, great food, it's a win-win. You can't go wrong with that. Share the love, share the wealth. We're having a good time, we're, we're getting ready. I hope you're ready, because we're getting ready to start this food. And I am, can I tell you how hungry I am? Like I'm super hungry. This is again, one, some, one of my favorite meals with more Asian Kitchen. Um, it's adobo fried rice. Yep. It is so good. And so whether you eat pork, it's pork belly based, but there are also substitutions if you want a different type of protein. So you can inquire about those. But are we ready? Yeah? So without further ado, we're about to turn it over. All right. So first step, you want to get your pan really, really hot. So it usually takes about a minute for the pan to start steaming up, and that's when you add the pork bellies in. So hopefully you guys were able to catch up. If not, you guys can always replay and do check back on our... But for those who have the kit have it assembled to you guys so it works really easy i portioned everything so all you guys have to do is just throw it in but i'm gonna go step by step process how we cook our adobo fried rice here at mora then yeah probably give it another like 15 seconds you want to add your canola oil just one around the, the pan so the first ingredient that comes in so with the braising method I recommend after it braises for about an hour and a half, two hours, you guys want to cool it down. So you want to cool it down and put it in the refrigerator and have it cool down for another hour or so, and that's when you can cut them into dices. And then that sauce that you guys uh, braise the pork belly in, that's actually the adobo sauce we use in the fried rice. So you keep using that, you continue yeah. to use it. It has all the flavor from all the, the juices from the pork, so it's a great sauce. So you keep it. You're doing more than you think you're doing when you're cooking. So I recommend the people that have the kit, you guys can start opening up your sauce cups that have the ingredients in there. Get it all ready. Put 
this one right here. So first step, you want to add your pork belly into the pan. Woo! Be careful that you can't get burned from doing this. We don't want that. Then after you add the pork belly in your basically, it's already fully cooked. So you're basically just reheating it and getting it seared. You want to add your scallions, about two ounces of scallions inside to the pan. I'm going to let Dana over here once I add the rice to try to saute it. You want me to saute it? <laughs> so after you add your scallions in, then we add our garlic. Then again, you guys can add. Can't go wrong with the garlic. You guys can't go wrong with the garlic. Can't go wrong with the garlic. And you want to be careful with the garlic as well because it does tend to burn really quick. So you need to just keep, keep moving the pan around. Then we want to add our chilled rice. The rice that we use is jasmine rice. So I also recommend for using Asian rices is to wash them three times before cooking because it has a lot of starches inside the rice. You want to get that all washed out, cleaned out before you cook it. So you can strip that out by rinsing it? Yeah. Hot water, cold water, does uh, it matter? I cold water. Okay. All right. Rinse your rice, people. Rinse your rice. Then we're going to add in our rice. So, Dana, we're going to teach you how to saute it. You're going to teach me how to saute? Yep. So, once you guys added the rice in there, you just want to saute it a little bit. Then we're going to add the adobo sauce into the pan. Wow, that and looks Dana, so delicious. Right. So, what yeah. you want to do is put all the weight down on the bottom pan and just flick, flick up a little bit. Don't flick, flick it. it too hard, just a little flick. Let me see. Uh-oh. I'm spilling it. Oh, there you go. I think it takes a go. skill. Yeah. And you probably shouldn't be holding a microphone when you do it. Show me how to do it again. So you want to put all the weight down on downward, and you just want to flick up just a little bit. You got so it. You You're like use, a master. You guys can use a spatula to break down all the clumps of rice that's in there. Just really incorporate the sauce inside. That looks great. That looks fantastic. And I'm going to practice my, yeah, my flicking, my sauteing. So it's a quick dish you guys can cook at home once you get everything prepped. Prepared, yeah. And this dish does come with a sunny side up egg. So you want to move your pan up to the side. I actually think this is my favorite part of the dish uh, because of the way that it brings all of the ingredients, all the work that you've done to put the dish together. It pulls it all together, which is incredibly delicious. So... This is the favorite part. You ready? I hope you're ready. I hope you're paying attention. So you guys don't have to use uh, um, sunny side up eggs. You guys can also scramble your egg into the dish, but I prefer sunny side up, having the yolk a little bit runny. Depends on it's how you up. like your egg. Yeah. yeah, so. So you just want to get your pan ready for the egg. And then just a little bit of oil. Recommend using a non-stick pan so this egg does not stick to the bottom of the pan. You don't want it too hot because it will burn the egg a little bit. So just put it on medium heat. Then after that, you just want to add in your egg. Into there the it is. While that's cooking, you know, you can get your plate ready to add your adobo fried rice. Because we're going to add the egg on top. So you want to make it look really nice. I usually try to plate it in the middle, mount it up a little bit, and then um, put the egg on top. That looks incredible. It's even better with the egg on top. There you go. But again, you can cook the egg to your liking if you like it, if you prefer it scrambled. I do think the yolk runny pulls it all together, which is so incredibly delicious. So that's what I recommend. But again, you can, can eat it at your comfort. And then for my sunny side up egg, I like adding a little salt and pepper on top just for a little bit more flavor. Of course. So once you see like the middle part of the yolk is not gooey anymore, that's when you know it's done. Is that how you can tell when your egg is? Yeah. You, so you say that see, again. So all of this part of the egg right here, you want to just try to like feel it out, see there's no more uh, raw egg. So when the white has there, been when cooked. The, when the egg whites has been cooked, 
your egg But maybe not the yellow. You know your egg is ready to serve. Yeah. That's a great tip. So it takes about like a minute or so to do a sunny side up egg. So you want to use that egg and just put it on top. Wow. That looks great. Then just for garnish, we do add just a little bit of green onions on top of it. There we go. Then you have your adobo fried rice. Quick, simple meal once you get everything prepped. So give it a try, Dana. Give it a try. You oh, go. you want me to try it? Of course. Oh, of course. I'm happy. Uh, listen, I'm happy to try it. I think it's delicious. Can I break the uh, Can I break the yolk? Yep. Just Look at how runny flavor. it is. It's so good. Ready? Oh, here we go. Mmm. It is my favorite dish for a reason. It's so incredibly rich in flavor, delicious. I think the yolk brings it together myself, uh, which is inc which is incredibly good. Thank you, Chef Garnett. Thank this is incredible. It's delicious. And you can pair it with Tandoi, the Asian rum, the number one selling rum in the world. Um, once again, started in 1854 in the Philippines. And... Uh, it's the number one selling rum in the world. They're a sponsor of the NBA. Um, it's fantastic. Again, we have those two contests. We've got a randomly selected watch party. So if you are sharing a watch party, if you are sharing a watch party, um, you are eligible to win prizes from More Asian Kitchen as well. And also, if you are taking a picture, if your picture looks like this, right? If your picture looks like this, take a picture of what you're cooking. Show us how you're doing. Uh, we love to see how everybody's coming along with their kit. So take a picture, share it, post it on Facebook, and we will select one of the winners um, from that group. You said what? Post it in the comments. Post your picture. Post your picture in the comments on Mora Asian Kitchen Bolingbrook. Post your picture of your plated dish in our comments. Um, on Mora Asian Kitchen Bolingbrook, and we will pick someone from there. Um, thank you all so much. We've got our, so people have, people have been asking me, some people are like, what are you drinking? Because that looks amazing, and you look like you're having a great time during this COVID season. Yes, I am today. It's awesome. Um, and that's thanks to Tandwai. It is uh, a lychee mojito. The lychee mojito is fantastic. Um, it's got Tandwai silver. It's a yuzo sake. Lime juice and simple syrup, um, and it's garnished with mint and lychee, which is fantastic. The drinks at Mora Asian Kitchen are phenomenal. And for those of you who have not been to Asian Kitchen, Asian Fusion um, in Bolingbrook, Plainfield, Oak Park, when you come, the drinks are incredible. It's a good time. It's good people. There's great music. There's great ambiance and clearly great food. And so that's what you're in for once we get back, once we're open. But in the meantime, you can make all of this yourself at home. Um, and we hope that you do. We hope that you purchase the kits. Once again, you can purchase the kits at moraasiankitchen.com. Mora, what's the website? Moraasiankitchen.com. Uh, Jason Morales is on Facebook. And you can also reach out via Messenger. Um, you can also get our phone number. What's the phone number to call in? Well, you can find it on a Facebook. All the information is on Facebook. Find us on Facebook. Find us on Instagram. There's so many ways you can reach out to us, and we will get the kits to you. We will get food to you. Come get carry out. Um, if you want to take a drive out, if you want to get out of the house, come come get a carry out. Come get a kit. Um, there's so many different ways to enjoy more Asian fusion. Um, it's it's incredible. It's delicious. All right, so I'm turning it over. Oh, so next week we are going to be featuring our next dish. Uh, what's it'll, our next dish? It'll be the honey shrimp for next week, honey walnut shrimp. Which is also one of my favorite dishes. I personally b order both and put them together, um, which is incredible. Yeah, so basically the honey uh, walnut shrimp is basically uh, aioli base that we put with walnuts and then many shrimps that we tempura batter and mix it inside with walnuts, then put a bed of slaw on top of it, it makes every ingredient. So it's a really good sweet dish, sweet shrimp dish. 
uh, very easy to make once we get everything prepped. Um, and then you guys can also pre-order those kits, uh, messages on more uh, messenger to pre-order them. Then with more meals, um, just want to thank everyone for donating. Uh, think throughout the whole week and a half, we over uh, matched over 700 meals. So uh, 10 hospitals. We just did one today. I was actually here at 5 a.m. in the morning prepping and cooking for all the ingredients for the hospital. We did 80 meals today. So. What you all are doing is incredible. I think what you all are doing in the community is a phenomenal effort, and we appreciate it because I think it just talks about our, it speaks to our community getting together, supporting one another, spreading love. That's what Mora Asian Kitchen is all about, and it's about spreading love through food. You know, food is a connector, and that's what my show's all about. That's what Mora Asian Fusion um, is all about. And so we hope that you join us. We hope that you support us. I hope you just join in the food because it's delicious, um, and that's what it's all about. So please be safe. Please be healthy. Wash your hands. And uh, we thank you for joining us. Um, we, we've had a great time. I've learned a lot. I've learned how to cut my onions and other things. So I'm, I'm getting my kits. I'm taking my kits with me. Honey shrimp. You don't want to miss it. Join us. Thank you so much. Take care. So we're headed to St. Joseph Hospital in Joliet. We are delivering 120 meals to the intensive care unit, emergency room and radiology units. It's been a pretty rough morning. We got up around like 5 a.m. In total meals we made today is 150, which is 120 is going to the St. Joseph. Medical Center here in Joliet. My name is Therese Murphy. I am the manager of the emergency department and we want to give a wholehearted thank you to Mora for all of the food that they have donated. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> for, from our generous donors, Richard Arnold, Wetronix, and Mora Asian Kitchen for Mora Meals. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Ha, ha, ha.